Alan has a review audit work item allocated to him. He then delegates it to Nina. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on resource patterns in YAWL. Today we talk about delegation. The ability for a resource to allocate an unstarted work item previously allocated to it, but not yet commenced, to another resource. You can see the behavior in the following flash animation. So delegation, uh, we start the flash animation and the work item for review audit is allocated to Alan. And Alan wants to allocate review audit work item to Nina. And this is now the delegation. Goes to Nina. And then she starts it and completes it. In YAWL, we can implement this with positions and a task privilege that allows for work item delegation. This privilege can be set in the resource dialog of the YAWL editor, as you can see here. In order for this to work, we also need to create subordinates for the participant who wants to delegate a work item. We have created three positions a magistrate's team leader and two magistrates. The magistrate's position report to the team leader. Let's see how this works in the execution of the process. Okay, work item delegation. We have um, our admin here. There is already a case started. Um, specification is here and at the bottom we have Max, Nina and Alan. And Alan has a work item review audit. And Alan has the possibility to delegate this work item because Alan has also the role of a team leader here, the position of a team leader and Nina and Max report to him. So he can delegate this to Nina and then if Nina refreshes her work list she can start and complete the work item. You can see that the delegation pattern is more complex than it seems at first. You need some organizational structures in your system in order to implement this in a meaningful way. There's also a tutorial on delegation in YAWL and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Let me know if you ever had a requirement to use delegation in a practical setting and how you have implemented it.